Big Daddy 103.9 Hyatt's requirement as you drive home along with uh, yours truly, Jamie Urban, and our special guest in studio, Mike Menier. He's from Sudbury. He's been in town for a couple of months and uh, back from his worldwide travels. Wow. That's right. Thanks that's, for having me, Rick. That's uh, quite the itinerary. Yeah, yeah. It was a, about a year of travel. You were everywhere. Uh, a few places, yeah. We, uh, we flew to St. Petersburg to start off in Russia and boarded the train and headed east all the way to well, through Mongolia and it ended in Beijing, China. And then we spent about, I guess, three or four months wandering around East Asia. Yeah. Which would be fascinating in itself. <laughs> it was, it was. Quite a few little adventures along the way and then uh, I headed off to Australia and spent about six months uh, traveling around the country there. A rather unusual musical experience in Mongolia of all places. What happened? That's right. Yeah, we had a we had quite a long wait at one of the train stations. The the rails are different sizes as you cross over into Mongolia, so they had to change the uh, the wheels. And uh, playing on the platform, I, I took out my my guitar and started playing. And about 30 or 40 people gathered around from maybe 12 or 13 different countries, and nobody could really communicate with each other. But as soon as I started playing, I think it was Redemption Song by Bob Marley. Everybody joined in in their own languages and uh, saying, I don't know if they were making up words or what, but <laughs> everyone was singing along. It was a really great, uh, it was evidence of music uh, transcending cultural boundaries. Awesome stuff. Was there any time uh, when you were on your travels that you felt threatened, I guess? That was a great experience, but was the other side of the coin comes into play. Actually, the, first, the very first night on the trip, we met uh, a couple of Russian guys in St. Petersburg. Um, they were very friendly with, with, with us at first. They thought we were American, I think. And um, everybody's a target <laughs> once in Russia. It's true. Of course, they didn't like you. <laughs> and then uh, once they got to know us, we started drinking with them a little bit, and we, they found out we were Canadian. And <laughs> this guy turned out to be a secret Russian police officer. He pulled out his gun and fired six times into the air to salute us because he was so uh, so fond of Canadians. <laughs> okay, best place, uh, I guess, in terms of where you felt um, more at home. That would definitely have to be Byron Bay in Australia. I spent about three or four months there. Uh, I got a busker's permit and played a lot around town uh, and tried to surf, and amongst other things. It was just a really fun time, very great uh, vibe for music in that town. Were you successful at surfing? Uh, I, I'm going to pass on that question. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I guess uh, you really can't practice all that much over on Ramsey Lake. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you don't get the, uh, the waves. That's right. <laughs> okay, Mike, stick around. We want you to perform. I had a chance to see Mike uh, perform at uh, Market Square on Sunday. He's going to do a little number for us. Uh, he's Sudbury Zone. He's back for a limited time engagement. He's doing the Starbucks thing. We'll get into that. His website and more stuff coming up. Sure.